Hey guys, Gaikush9 here with Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we defeated Sabrina, and now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go off here. This is off to the west side of Celadon. To Route 16, uh, there's this tree here again. Uh, there's really nothing, no reason to go up there though, because uh, the person who was in that house, well, I think there's someone else in there now, and you don't get anything from it. But, anyways. You can kind of guess what this place is. It's Cycling Road again. Yeah, this place is still here. And luckily, it has a lot less trainers on it than last time. Downhill coasting all the way. All right. Yeah, you don't have, like, those five trainers at the beginning. And then there was, um... Oh, shoot, there it goes. All right, so yeah, there's the constant downward slope. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Hey, oh, how do you know something's from Johto? Huh. I wonder if there's, like, a difference, like, eyes or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Wheezing! Uh, uh, good thing this thing doesn't, doesn't have levitate yet. Woo! Oh, third generation's gonna be fun! <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to strap another psychic Pokemon to my team. I mean, the only reason why you get a Psychic Pokemon in the first generation is so you can survive other Psychic Pokemon, but in third generation, it's so you can actually take on the Poison-type Pokemon that can levitate and shit. I don't know. Um, let's see. Going off of my map here. Go ahead and take this guy on. Wait a minute. What? I was supposed to have fought someone there. Oh, wait, you're not... What? Ah, damn it, they moved the trainers around again, didn't they? Crap. That's annoying when you're going off the player's guide for gold and, crystal, uh, and gold and silver, and then crystal, they decide to move the trainers around a little bit. I mean, the Pokemon's still the same, but. Like, this guy's suddenly here, and. Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Elka can take this guy on again. <laughs> Speaking of which, Elka's probably gonna be very important uh, very soon, since I'm gonna be going to Fuchsia soon. I mean, that's the ultimate path here, anyways. And, um, truth be told, I mean, I'm hoping, I don't know, I don't know how time-wise, I do want to get through this stuff as soon as possible, though. Uh, just so I can start preparing for, well, I gotta start preparing for Blue, rather, at the, the Viridian Gym. Yeah, I'm spoiling things, but come on, this game's been out for over a decade now. But, um, yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to start training for him, because his Pokemon are actually significantly higher than some of the other leaders here. So, and then Red, oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. Um, let's see. Well, there should be a guy up here that I missed. Yeah, there you are. Oh, that's convenient. Hey, we have a speed battle. Uh, 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 don't know where I was going with that. It's a biker, and he has a mohawk, and he has a coughing, which is going to die very soon. Hmm. Yeah, I just have, I know, I need to, I, I've already started planning, like, what things I have to do after all. Ah! No! Just my luck. Oh, wow, it didn't, it didn't do much. All right, never mind then. Both long guys. Magmar. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so, like, I gotta start planning what I want to do. Because, like, I know I gotta do Mount Mortar, especially because that's where the Karate King is. Like, they didn't say that, but, like... And since you have Waterfall now, I can actually do him. Like, you know, fight him, rather. <laughs> yeah, um, let's see. Uh, oh, should I have to go back to the Union Cave at some point? Get that Lapras, and then... Uh, World... Yeah, I still got a lot to do over in Johto, because I still got World Islands. I still got... Oh, I got Catch of the Legendary Dogs, Lions, or whatever the hell those things are. I, I, I call them lions. I mean, I don't know where, how someone arrived at dogs. Well, I guess it's because of uh, the cries or something. Like, well, Entei uh, cried probably more than anything. Because that is kind of a, uh, just like a, a, a deep <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, I'll call. I have not fought any of these trainers, like, even though they called me so many times. And why is he going after Snubble? He's a bug catcher. That doesn't make sense. Ugh. All right. Uh, let's see. Want to switch out real quick? Put you in front, just since you kind of need it, and put you closer to the front because I'm gonna need you towards the end of the route here. 
Uh, alright, so yeah, we're at the end here, and this guy, I believe, is the last of the cycling road trainers. There are, like, two more in the next route here, but... Yeah. Yeah, I need to start planning it out, though. I just haven't had really a whole lot of time. Just, like, my work just kind of, like, tires me out, and I just want to play my own games, and, yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Why? <laughs> Ah, you missed. I was kind of hoping it was self-destruct there, but oh well. Oh man, I should start building quick balls again. Although with uh with ducks, it shouldn't be it shouldn't make catching them a little well it shouldn't make catching them a little less hectic because all I really have to do is just uh well I gotta paralyze them. Oh, well, I gotta find Entei first, but I, I can paralyze them with Katara and then I can use Fall Swipe until I get them down to one health and then that'll make it. Somewhat easy, and then just go to a route like, um, the one south of E-Critique or something like that. And just to keep in mind, if anyone's, uh, if anyone's been wondering this for a while now, uh, the, uh, Entei and Raiko never leave Johto, like, so once you go into Kanto, you never have to worry about them suddenly expanding their bases of operation. I mean, the only time any of those Pokemon go over the Kanto was, um, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. Uh, you, you eventually, you, you eventually caught Suicune. Um, and, and actually the pier where you found Misty on her date, like Route 25, I think it was. And like, you have to chase it, basically, a few areas, including like, well, I mean, we saw it in that one route, like, um, w with Mount Mortar. I mean, I saw it that one time next to the National Park for some reason. Um, and then like, at some point you chase it in Vermilion City. And then like, at some point you just, and I'm surprised the downhill slope was still going there. Um, but yeah, that was, like, the only case, so... I know in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, though, like, uh, Latias, or Latios, like, that's the thing that hovers around in Kanto. Uh, uphill starts here. Why would you want to go uphill? <laughs> uh, alright, well, we got some bird catchers again, though. It's kind of odd. I don't know, this is just kind of the bird, uh, the, you know, the bird catcher route thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Or bird keeper rather, what am I saying? Well, I'm saying hi to a knocked owl with my fist of ice. <laughs> well, once I get him out, anyways. Alright, there we go, fist of ice. Ah, I didn't say hello to his stomach, that's not where his ears are. Oh well, oh, I did great too. <laughs> Yeah, just another one of those random routes. Oh, fun fact though, is that in, in, on Cycling Road, you can find a unique Fire-type Pokémon that you haven't seen yet. It's been introduced in this generation though, and it's called Slugma, which is a, um, it's a pure Fire-type. It's cripplingly slow, but, uh, it's still kind of a solid Fire-type. And eventually, uh, like, um, well, I think we've seen a Slugma before, and, um, I don't know, I can't remember. I also can't remember, actually. I don't, I don't know if we have. But they eventually evolve into Mascargo, which are still cripplingly slow, but they gain a rock type, so they do gain a bit of de physical defense. Of course, that makes them doubly susceptible to water. But, um, I mean... Uh, but again, it's one of those Pokemon that... You, it, it arrives so late in the game that you just don't consider it. And it's kind of odd that it just randomly pops up in Cycling Road. I mean, you think it'd be a little closer to the... Well, actually, truth be told, this, this is probably the closest route, excluding the sea routes, to Cinnabar. Yeah. And if you're wondering why I'm not mentioning Cinnabar, well, some of you probably already know already, so who really cares? Dodrio! I'm going to punch you in the chest again. Uh, it's a good feeling when you have a high offense Pokemon and they just punch them and then it, they die and well the enemy dies rather. Didn't get a level up though. Hey! Oh, are, what was the fun of that? <laughs> You're silly. All right, I'm just gonna go. And for the first time, we get to see Fuchsia City in a color other than Fuchsia. <laughs> Alright, but there's really one major in uh, difference about this place. One of the four used to be here. Yeah, th uh, except that one. You're probably thinking now that you're in Fuchsia. Oh, hey, it's time to... Oh, he always passes me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, but yeah, this this probably says it here. Safari Zone office is closed until further notice. 
So anyway, if you were thinking, oh man, it's Fusa City, time to capture some Pokemon, have some fun, crap. Nope! No for the Safari Zone for you, sad face. Alright, finally found the right way. I thought there was a, uh, I thought there was a slant over on the right side, but I was wrong, and there's nothing over there, so probably cut that out. Anyways, Route 19, be careful if you're swimming to sea foam, who cares. Now, the special thing about this route here, um, I believe if we go inside and talk to this guy right here... Cinnabar's like a volcano erupted! So yeah, they were sitting on top of a volcano, and it blew up. So, yeah, you can kind of guess what happened there. But anyways, the result of the volcano explosion basically means that your the original route to Cinnabar is now closed off completely. Although, it's honestly quicker to go through Pallet, and that's what you have to do, because this doesn't open up until after you defeated Cinnabar. So, or Blaine, rather. So, yeah, it's kind of a pointless route now. But, yeah, there's nothing you can do, I guess. Alright, it's time to fight and fight the gym leader. I've rested up. And since Koga now left this place and, you know, promoted to Elite Four, we're going to be seeing a new gym leader here. So let's go ahead and read this thing and find out who it is. It's Janine, who has the same moniker as Koga did. So let's go in. Anyways, mini war room time with Future City Gym. There are four trainers, 30 to 36, and the leader who is the weakest out of all Kanto at 33 and 39, and like before in Fuchsia, there's poison types. Now, the trainers pretty much have dual types. You rarely see any pure ones here. Uh, the gimmick for this place is the invisible walls are bad, but however, all the trainers in this gym have Janine's sprite, so it's kind of hard to tell who she is immediately. Uh, again, a uh, grounded psychic type is really all you need here. I, I just bring one of them or two and you can go through this place fine. And you get a TM reward for this place, and the one for this is Toxic like before with Koga. Alright, time to fight Koga's daughter. Yes, yeah, his daughter. Can't fancy that. Whoops, take a good look around you. The, all the trainers look like the leader, Janine. Which there was some real Janine. So yeah. The annoying thing about this is that they kept all of the invisible walls, but here you'll notice like a lot of the trainers uh, um, looked exactly the same, which is Janine's sprite. So you pretty much, unless you know offhand, like um, yeah. So yeah, that's a fake one, so that's what happens. They twirl around and then you fight them. The good thing about this though is that none of them will engage you immediately, like Theoretically, you could go through this entire gym without finding a single trainer. Like, you, if you knew exactly who Janine was, then you could just walk right up to her, none of the trainers will do anything to stop you, and just beat her and then the gym is yours. This is honestly the easiest gym in Kanto. And not just because of that little flaw right there, but just because it's um, the trainers here... Well, overall, the trainers and the leaders here... They have the lowest level Pokemon of all, all the places. Like, I think... I mean, they start at 30, and most of the other gyms, like, they started at 32, and then... Venusaur. But, <laughs> but yeah, honestly, this, this gym isn't going to be much of a challenge. It's just kind of there. I mean, I'm guessing the, the explanation they had for this is that Janine is a brand new gym leader. She just took over Koga's place, or just recently took over Koga's place. So she's not going to be as powerful as the other gym leaders. I'm guessing. That's 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 my best estimation about what happened here. But anyways, getting on... Ah, oh, I missed. Ah. I did not need that. Damn it. That's going to stall things. But, um... Yeah, typing-wise, Fuchsia still has the same... Um, it still hypes the same thing. It's poison types. Um... The thing about this gym, though, is that you don't really see as many bugs as you do, and also I should go ahead and mention that there are no psychic Pokémon in this gym either, because, like, yeah, it had that same thing with Sabrina, like, from the first gen, now it has psychic and ghost types, and then, th and honestly, Fusion Gym was more psychic than poison, but, yeah, all the trainers in this, in, in this gym have at least a poison type Pokemon. Like, a lot of them are gonna be sub type. Oh, come on, stop missing! Jesus. Just get fly. Just hit him. He's right there. There we go, finally. Alright. 
But yeah, there are quite a few subtype Pokémon, because, like, Poison doesn't have very many pure-type representatives. I mean, you have Weezing, you have Muck, and I think that's pretty much it. Although, you have a lot of dual-type Poison types, so yeah. But anyways, now... God, that battle took a little longer than I would have hoped. Alright, let's put Umber in so I can try and get it evolved. Ironically enough, though, looking at the list here, Janine is the only one that has any bug in this uh, bug types in this gym. So, and this is not the real Janine. She's just kind of playing us on. <laughs> I know the text is kind of confusing, but yeah, it's a camper. So, wow, Cindy, that sure sounds like Janine. But yeah, Nita Queen. And now Umber with Ice type. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if I can take you on with this. I mean, I kind of want to conserve my ice sponges anyways. Okay, it's... An oh, well, crit. Not nah, damn. Alright, well, I can't really tell now, I guess. And it would do that. <laughs> Darn it, I wanted to win. Well, you're not ninja enough. You're just kind of there. And here's a weird one here. Or funny one, rather. Wahahaha, you betcha, I'm Janine, you're clearly a guy, but yeah, we're gonna go that way. <laughs> Although I do kind of like this guy, kind of funny. Oh, ultimately, he's kind of funny. Although I, I feel like I'm insulting myself at the same time. But yeah, this guy's a Nino King, so that kind of makes sense. Alright, let's, uh, let's do a nice punch this time, I don't want to take strength of the chance. Okay, there we go. Oh, and another critical hit. <laughs> Alright, well, level 48 is mine. Let's see... Damn, he's still kind of slow. Um, alright. Let's... Hey, this guy's just right on! Dang! I was like, I wonder if he says the same thing. Hey, you! Is my disguise cute or what, huh? Oh, no, he doesn't say it. I think in, like, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, he's like, Yeah, I'm a boy, but I dress up as a girl who really gives a fuck, and I kind of like that line. But, uh, no, I guess they added that on to Heart Gold. Whatever. Alright, you would think that this Janine right here is the leader, but no. Like, you'd think because she's square in the center right there, and that's where Koga was last time, but no. Not that that was actually kind of clever by the developers. Yeah, and uh, I should go ahead and mention, the, I do believe the uh, invisible wall path is slightly different in this uh, generation than it was in the last one, so... Because, like, Koga has that, basically, that one invisible kind of, like, is kind of, like, shaped like a room, if anything, but, yeah. And, yeah, well, we're seeing a lot of grass types, because pretty much all the grass types in the last generation were part poison, except for Tangela and Execute, so... Let's say level up. I don't know, it's probably just me. I just love how Ducks' uh, stats are just kind of, like... Even like that, they're just kind of around the same area of one another. So it's a, it's a kind of a balanced Pokemon. It could use more points though. I mean, it's still pretty low stat-wise. Anyways, Arbok. The first, uh, I think this is the first actual pure poison type we fought in this gym, though. Oh well, yeah, there you go, Arbok. I forgot about Arbok. Sorry about that. Yeah, so that means uh, three families that were pure poison. So, that makes... that sounds right. Because, like, um, Ekans is, uh, counterpart with Sandshrew, so, yeah. Let's see, it was Meowth and, uh, who's the other one there? I can't remember. Uh, this is why, and hope I hit! Alright, acid, ha, <laughs> acid. Alright, this should probably do it right here, because I'm 18 levels ahead. Alright, there we go, yeah. Alright, there we go. I do believe that was the last of the trainers here. There, I believe there were four in all. I, 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 no, you didn't. Maybe on placement alone, but no, you didn't. How will you distinguish our real leader? Maybe by process of elimination. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, now we're going to take on this Janine off in the corner here, which turns out to be the actual Janine. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal! Janina, Fuchsia Jim, that's me. So, kind of, I, I kind of like that, though. She actually did kind of act more ninja than um, her father. 
But anyways, later Janine, she has five Pokemon, which I believe is the highest amount that we've seen out of any trainer yet. But anyways, she starts with a Crobat at level 36, yeah. Um, this... well, he, I don't know if he'll outspeed me at that rate. Um, no, I guess I'm too far ahead. Alright, so yeah, this should be a very easy gym battle, because she really doesn't have terribly powerful... None of her Pokemon are even in the 40s, so that kind of tells you how easy this is going to be. I mean, we're in the high 40s already, and she's going to go straight to her bug. Or her first bug, anyways. Uh, let's send out you. I could send out Nova, but Duck still needs to catch up a little bit on an experience. But yeah, Arya Dose, which I believe is her weakest Pokemon at level 33. So yeah, bug and poison type. Yeah, we've dealt with this kind of before. I would have loved to see Janine use a bee drill, but nah, she used Nerados instead. Alright, that's dead. And, uh, alright, so who's she gonna send out next? Okay, Weezing, she's gonna go to the pure types now. She does have two pure poison types. Um, I, one of them is Weezing, the other one I think is, um... Yeah, uh, actually they're both Weezings, what am I thinking about? <laughs> well, hopefully they don't self-destruct. I mean, they probably know that move. I don't, again, I'm going in with not knowing the moves anymore, just to make it more of a challenge to me, but... I mean, it's not really going to be much of a challenge in this battle anyways. I mean, 13 levels ahead right there. And yeah, type advantage. Alright, let's see. Alright, she's going to use our last of the bug types, and I think this is our most powerful Pokemon, technically. Or at least it's the one they put at the end of the list. Yeah, 39, Venomoth. So yeah, I kind of went along a similar route that um, Koga did right there, but... Still in bug type, so, um, oh shoot, this can complicate things. Oh, <laughs> screw your evasion to stacks. <laughs> and that one shot. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much the challenge of the gym out of the way. So yeah, see, this is easy. This is a really easy gym. I mean, if you're, I mean, you can literally just probably just come straight here from Vermilion City. I mean, yeah. Alright, and the last of the Weezing, same level as before, so all we have to do is just Earthquake this thing and it'll be dead. Yeah, not much to say there. I mean, that was inevitable. But there we go, we've defeated Janine, so yeah. Not, again, not much to say. You're a tough one, you definitely won. Here's Soul Badge, take it. Alright, so Soul Badge is gonna be ours. And of course she I believe she does give us a DM too. Um, yeah, she's gonna give us Toxic, just like her father did. So th that's a main reason why you would want to do this gym first, because it's just an awesome it, I mean I sh I showed how good Toxic was, sort of, in the last um, generation. But um yeah, you definitely wanna try and challenge her as soon as possible. Just to get that TM, because that it's it's a really good TM. And now I just gotta weed my way through the uh, the place again. <laughs> All right, but anyways, uh, oh, let's see this, that was great battle trainer from Johto. Anyways, this is Guy Christian Knight with Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, and then the next episode, um, don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I, yeah, I'll see you then, guys. <laughs>